For today's video, we are going to have a practice problem on how to add and subtract polynomials and we are going to explain in details how do we get the answer. On the first example, we have quantity 5x cubed plus x squared minus 3x minus 7 plus quantity x squared minus 6x plus 9. In order for us to simplify this one, all we have to do is to combine like terms. So let us rewrite this one as 5x cubed plus x square and then we have x square minus 3x minus 6x minus 7 plus 9. So let us simplify. Let us have 5x cubed and then x square plus x square that is 2x square negative 3x minus 6x that is negative 9x. Negative 7 plus 9, that is positive 2. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, we have quantity 3x cubed plus 7x squared plus 6x plus quantity 2x cubed plus 6x squared plus x. So let us have 3x cubed and then we have 2x cubed plus 7x square plus 6x square plus 6x plus x. So let us have 3x cubed plus 2x cubed that is 5x cubed. And then 6x square plus 7x square that is 13x square and 6x plus x that is 7x. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, we have 3 times quantity x plus 2x square minus 1 plus x times quantity 2x square minus 3x plus 1. So the first thing that we are going to do to simplify this one is to distribute 3 and x inside the parentheses. So let us have 3 multiplied by x that is 3x. 3 multiplied by 2x squared, that is 6x squared. And 3 multiplied by negative 1, that is negative 3. Plus, let us have x times 2x squared, that is 2x cubed. And x multiplied by negative 3x, that is negative 3x squared. And then, let us have x multiplied by 1, that is simply x. So let us rewrite this one as 2x cubed plus 6x squared and then we have negative 3x squared plus 3x plus x minus 3. So let us combine like terms. We are going to have 2x cubed and then 6x squared minus 3x squared that is 3x square and 3x plus x that is 4x and then we have negative 3 and this will be our answer. On example number 4, we have negative 4x times quantity 1 plus 2x minus x square plus 3x cubed times quantity 2x plus 1. So let us multiply negative 4x times 1 it will give us negative 4x. Negative 4x multiplied by 2x, and that is negative 8x squared. Negative 4x multiplied by negative x squared, that is positive 4x cubed. And then, let us have 3x cubed times 2x, and that is 6x raised to 4. And 3x cubed multiplied by 1, that is 3x cubed. So let us rewrite this one. Let us have 6x raised to 4 followed by 4x cubed plus 3x cubed minus 8x squared minus 4x. So let us combine like terms. Let us have 6x raised to 4 and then 
4x cubed plus 3x cubed it will give us 7x cubed. And then let us rewrite this one. Negative 8x squared minus 4x. And this will be our answer. On example number 5, we have quantity x squared minus 8x plus 11 minus quantity 8x cubed plus x squared minus 5x minus 9. In subtracting polynomials, always remember that we have to distribute the negative sign on the subtrahend. So this will be our mean when and this will be our subtrahend. So let us write this one as x squared minus 8x plus 11 negative multiplied by 8x cubed, that is negative 8x cubed. And then negative multiplied by x squared, that is negative x squared. And negative multiplied by negative 5x, that is positive 5x. And negative multiplied by negative 9, that is positive 9. So let us have negative 8x cubed followed by x squared. And then negative x squared minus 8x plus 5x plus 11 plus 9. So let us simplify. Let us have negative 8x cubed. And then x squared minus x squared. So we are going to cancel this one. And then negative 8x plus 5x. That is negative 3x. 11 plus 9, that is 20. And this will be our answer. On number 6, we have quantity 4x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4 minus quantity negative 7x cubed plus 11x squared plus 12x. So let us write this one as 4x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4. Negative multiplied by negative 7x cubed, that is positive 7x cubed. Negative times ne positive 11x squared, that is negative 11x squared. And negative multiplied by positive 12x, that is negative 12x. So let us have 4x cubed and then 7x cubed plus 3 x squared minus 11 x squared minus 12 x plus 4. So let us combine like terms. 4 x cubed plus 7 x cubed that is 11 x cubed. And then 3 x squared minus 11 x squared that is negative 8 x squared. And let us rewrite this one. Negative 12 x plus 4. This will be our answer. On example number 7, we have quantity 2x squared minus 3x plus 4 minus the quantity x squared plus 2x plus 1. So let us write this one as 2x squared minus 3x plus 4. And let us distribute the negative sign inside the parentheses. Negative multiplied by x squared, that is negative x squared. Negative multiplied by 2x, that is negative 2x. And negative multiplied by 1, that is negative 1. So let us have 2x squared minus x squared minus 3x minus 2x plus 4 minus 1. So let us have 2x squared minus x squared, that is x squared. Negative 3x minus 2x, that is negative 5x. And 4 minus 1, that is 3. And this will be our answer. On example number 8, we have 3 times quantity x plus 2 times quantity x minus 1 minus 2x times quantity 3 minus x times quantity 1 minus 2x. So before we distribute 3 and negative 2x inside the parentheses, we have to simplify the given expression inside the parentheses. So let us have 3 times quantity x and then 2 multiplied by x, that is 2x. And 2 multiplied by negative 1, that is negative 2. 
And then let us have negative 2x times quantity 3. Negative x times 1, that is negative x. Negative x times negative 2x, that is positive 2x squared. So let us add this one. Let us write as 3 times quantity x plus 2x, that is 3x minus 2. And we can distribute negative 2x inside the parentheses. This is negative 2x times 3. That is negative 6x. Negative 2x multiplied by x. That is positive 2x squared. Negative 2x multiplied by positive 2x squared. That is negative 4x cubed. So let us have... 3 multiplied by 3x, that is 9x. 3 multiplied by negative 2, that is negative 6. And then let us rewrite this one. We have negative 6x plus 2x squared minus 4x cubed. So let us have negative 4x cubed followed by 2x squared. And then we have 9x minus 6x minus 6. So let us combine like terms. Let us have negative 4x cubed plus 2x squared 9x minus 6x that is 3x and then minus 6. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.